Até aí. probably wondering why I've brought some more wagons. This time they are purely second hand and it was more the fact of can you get a good second hand wagon for relatively little money in compared to what new ones are. Obviously the world is becoming so much more expensive and in turn we're having to spend more money on wagons, on locos and things like that. So can you get a good second hand wagon for very little money? Secondly, wouldn't be the same without a good cup of tea. And thirdly, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who has liked, subscribed, watched the videos and left comments. I'm sure I'll get back to you very soon. So here we go. Today, 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 we have brought some Backman some Backman steel wagons, and they are BZAs. Well, I'm not going to bore you with it, so here goes. Found this, found this little, uh, I think like little mini air valves or whatever they are. Goes here and here. There is nothing that some Revel glue and a lighter can't fix. What I'm going to have to do is open up the holes just a little bit, just so it can go in. Remember, safety. We are done, we're glued on. It was a little bit fiddly because this is a metal bit of uh, metal bit of piping and uh, it kept on pushing this one away a little bit. So it was a little bit fiddly, it's glued on. So I've just added a, a little bit more glue just to keep it into place and it seems to be uh, cemented very well. Obviously being second hand, this is, this is the problem, but I think it more broke in the box in uh, transportation to here and um this is this wagon this wagon is a bza from backman it's a british uh british steel it's a steel wagon it takes steel coils we have obviously the little cradles that carry the the steel coils and it fits in to these little holes here and uh there we go see the see the little nipples see the little nipples into there there we go, sits into there. And then you have, you have the bars, you have the bars that fit into these holes here if I wish to put them in, because then I think they can probably take uh, the, long, the long bars of uh, steel as well. On one of the wagons, on one of the wagons, the handbrake wheel has broken off it but that was that was in the description before i brought it but the advantage was there was a big advantage to this that in one of the other boxes of these wagons we had we had a spare one which is sitting right there right there um and this is the one that is the one that is a uh, broke on it see where the white dot is the white dot that's where it's broke and then other than that 
these are absolutely perfect. Now I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure the age of these wagons. If uh, somebody could please write in the description of how old these wagons are. I think um, back when producing what, if I said what, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 years ago, would that be a rough, a good rough guide? Um, and even then, even then we were, going back here, sorry. Even, even back then we had metal underframes as well, just to add a bit of weight. Now, as a whole, the wagons are still relatively light. And uh, and this is the detail. This is the detail. You've got extra pipes. There is pipes in the box. So for the air pipes to go at either end. There you go. That end as well. And uh, like I say, you know, they are, they are good. They are really, really nice. But you want to see them going around and allow. So here we go. TPWS and AWS operational. And this is how freely they run. There they are, going round. They're going round. So pricing, 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 pricing. So it ranged from 28, 28 pounds up to 38 pounds. I don't know why I don't know why there was such a range difference. Um, the one with the broken handbrake wheel wasn't actually the cheapest one. I think that was the £33 one. I don't know how it's governed by pricing, whether it's Backman that sets the second-hand prices or if it's the shop or anything like that. Um, these three wagons these three wagons were from Hattons, so uh, thank you for them. Um, they did have actually some Acura scale, um, was it tri-hook steel wagons where the, uh, the lid... Um, folds back or concertina's back they were going for 55 quid and unfortunately i missed it uh we have uh we've uh we've left our train we've left our train behind and just to clarify it's not the wagon it's not the wagon the, wa the wagons are fine it's very light um they are because these are these are only plastics after all plastics plastic after all so there's not really much weight there so this one might have to have a bit of weight but it, i think this derails because this coupling isn't great on the loco um it's not the original one um yeah so i think it's probably down to that um and just regarding pricing just regarding pricing like like when i when i brought these i've got about 23 of these when i got these they were ranging around are you ready 18 to 22 pounds 
So you can imagine what they are now. It is just quite uh, quite crazy. And yes, I did uh, weather it not very well, but it is what it is. And also these Tilkens, as you know, I have a one or two of these. I have 31 of these all together. Um, I have seen some of the pricing up to about 60. Yes, right, 60 pounds for one of these. Um, obviously, I'm fully aware that other shops do sell it for cheaper. I brought most of mine, most of mine, for approximately 20 quid 20 quid so this is in the day when you could buy let's say one of these when these were going for about 20 quid and i used to buy them in bulk so when you buy them in bulk at usually a train exhibition you can usually get a little bit of money off whereas opposed if you buy it through a shop um and you ring them up or through the interweb um you can't really get any money off so i usually done that so i usually used to go to the stall get them all out and i brought i think about 18 in one hit and i ended up nearly getting one for free so i think those i think those times have changed so yeah so i've got 31 of these roughly roughly 20 pound each i paid for them i did pay a little bit more for some of the the last ones just to top top the collection up i think i probably paid about 24 to 25 pounds or unless it was a sort of like a little mini job lot with say five or six wagons. Um, so yeah, and then these, these ones, these container wagons, I haven't put the bar in the middle. Um, I got four, this is going back quite a few years for 25 pounds, 20 to 25 pounds when they first come out and it was coming out of a shop that was closing down in Cambridge and, um, and I decided to buy the lot of them. So I brought about, I can't remember how many actual wagons i got because there's usually two in a box so if i said about 12 boxes so 24 individual wagons in total and now they range for what if i said 50 50 pounds so it's quite amazing how how much everything has increased in price so i feel quite honored that i decided to to splash out the money buy things in bulk and probably save myself thousands and I literally mean thousands of pounds. Also regarding also regarding the pricing of this one, because I, I forgot about it, the BYA. This is again a Backman model. Backman model. And again, just stunning. I got these again back in the day. So when I say back in the day, I would say 10, 15 years ago easily, when I could probably go down to Alexander Palace and spend 500 quid and probably save myself 250 quid on various wagons. I'm pretty sure that I got these for around about anything from 15 up to about 22 pounds each. And I got 16 of them. So um, I think I brought probably 15 of them or maybe 10 to sorry, 10 to 12, 10 to 12 of them in a little probably job lot to get them a little bit cheaper. And then as and when I've just added to them when I see them at a nice price. There we go. I've had to put the Tilkin in because the Tilkin's a, a nice heavy wagon. There seems to be some sort of a, a pivot point for some reason between this wagon and the loco, and that's why it keeps coming off. So, uh, so now it runs around absolutely fine. Talking about running around fine, yeah, it's just derailed because for somehow or other, this this buffer got ripped out. So I'm thinking it might have got caught behind this. So it wasn't running around fine. It was running around fine until now. So anyway, talking about pricing, pricing. These incredible, these incredible wagons here. This is obviously the JHA from Daypole. This is the JUA PTA slash ABC UFC uh, from a Cura scale. And these, these when they were brand new were £150. And to be fair, that is an absolute bargain of today's money. Why? Because when you break it down, they're only £30 each. £30 each, where the J jhas these are retail and i think if you brought them from daypole themselves i think they're range ranging up to from about 46 up to about 55 this is the one with a tail lamp got a tail lamp tail lamp is not no tail, tail lamp is there there we go tail lamp so that obviously requires a decoder to run correctly um i know a lot of shops are running uh selling them sorry not running selling them for about 45 pounds give or take and I have seen them less than 40. So there is a shop that is selling them less than 40. So I'm thinking I'm going to be, I'm going to be spending some money with them. Um, and that is plain and simple with that. So I'll be doing probably a job lot. 
Um, just a simple fact is because they are so, so cheap compared to, well, I say so cheap, uh, cheaper than a lot of the uh, bigger shops. So I'll be purchasing some more. Um, and yeah, and I've seen some secondhand one of these now. Secondhand, this is correct, secondhand. And somebody was selling it for over, over £200 for the box of five. So, I mean, whether somebody's going to pay that or not, I don't know. Um, but I do... I generally believe, you know, there are some great bargains out there. You literally just have to keep looking. I mean, like, for those, for those, for those wagons, what are they? Uh, BZAs, sorry, BZAs, you know, 30 to 40 quid. I don't know what they were originally, but I suspect they're probably good 50 quid, I suspect. Um, yeah, there are bargains out there, and it's just, you know, depending on what you want. I want full-length trains, so unfortunately, it does require buying a few wagons you know so i've got 30 of the the juas or the ptas from a cura scale got 30 of them they are all out of out of packets so um there's always a tail lamp on one of the wagons um i mean i would like to have the inner ones um but unfortunately that's what it was that was what they had left i brought them out so i want to get some more jhas as well because i want to create a few jumbo trains uh, I've got a freight liner train that's 30 wagons. I've got HYA wagons and I can't remember it's the bogey box wagons um, and I've got 20 of those so that's 30 wagons all together. Um, so yeah so I just want to create a jumbo train so obviously in turn it just means just got to spend some more money. Um, so I've, even then I'm still looking for for the bargains and everything so and it just takes time. It generally takes time just to just to sort of like suss out these things and things like that, because bargains do come about. They really, really do. So regarding the the uh, the little steel wagons, I just think that was, you know, it was good value for money. You know, they're great condition. You know, the only thing that I had to fix was obviously the little air pipe and the handbrake, but the handbrake was already missing anyway. So but I can replace that with, with something else. And it's all, and they're all brand new again. So um, yeah keep looking you know don't don't just give up you know yes new wagons are expensive but it is what it is you know it's the world it's the way the world is going so if you've liked the video please like subscribe until next time i will be bringing some more videos out soon obviously you just don't have much content so thank you very much for watching and take care So, hold on.